Hey guys, it's Super Easy Films here, and today I have a video on how to teach you guys how to clean up your space, be organized, and all your files and folders and all that. And that's what I'm here to make the video about today. And bear with me today because I have a stuffed up nose because I have a little bit of a cold. So just bear with me that and just follow along with these instructions. So, most likely if you want to clear up the space on your computer, it's probably because you ran out of space on your computer. And that recently happened to me, like, uh, I guess two days ago. And the problem was I couldn't download anything, I couldn't, like, open applications, because the computer runs on the memory, so it couldn't run anything. So I had problems with that. So I was searching all over the internet, and I finally figured out this one software called Omni Disk Sweeper. So what you want to do is go ahead and do a Google search of Omni Disk Sweeper or you could go down to the description that I have down below and click on that and you should get to the same link and all you got to do is download it and you should put it into your files and I mean your application folder and then you should be set to go and I'll show you from there. Basically, I just opened it up and there you go. So what it has is it has a list of all the uh, drives that you have. So yeah, I got my mobile backups and I have my Macintosh HD which is my my main hard drive on my computer and I have the hard drive, a random hard drive. This is one that's external and I plugged it in uh, from another from an, you know what I mean, <laughs> an external hard drive basically. And those are the ones I have but you guys may have more or less depending on which ones you have plugged in. So as you can tell, this just tells you the basic overview of how much space you have free and used and the total altogether that you used to have, minus what you've used and what you have now. So as you can tell, my hard drive here has 418.7 gigabytes free and I've used over 580.6 gigabytes and uh, the total of it is 993, I mean 999.3 and basically yeah that's what it is but if you want to you can click on any of the drives that you want to like delete some space like most likely I want to delete this because I got a lot of files on my Macintosh HD my main hard drive and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and sweep it and what that does is it brings up all the stuff that you have on your files that like you know all the stuff that you couldn't see before like it's all th this search is every file that you've possibly made in the past and you thought you deleted it, but this it kind of still saves it basically and it keeps it for you just in case you need it but you really don't so that's why you deleted it so this is why it helps you find them and then delete them if you don't need them so now this uh, Omni Disk Sweeper goes by a color code and it goes like this uh, uh, the very light green Sorry for the loading on my computer. It's kind of slow though. But anyways, the light green is uh, the less the less memory used, and it basically goes up from there. As you can tell, it gets a darker green, and then purple, and then red is the most use, and it kind of climbs up on top of it, depending on which one it has. As you can tell, a purple popped up, and depending on which how much you use obviously it gets higher changes the color so that's why my user is 176 and then it all totals up together and equals like however much I had before which was 228 but I'm using 214.1 so that's basically it so you could easily just click in your volumes or whatever go to your either file which you want and let's say you don't want this, so you go ahead and delete it. I want it. I need this, but that's all you got to do. You just click delete, and it totally gets rid of it. Now, I wouldn't go ahead and start deleting everything that you don't know, like USR. I, that just basically means you're the user of the computer. So if you delete it, then you probably won't even be logged in anymore. So you basically lose a lot of stuff. So don't delete stuff that you don't know, like if initials, little initials like this. So just keep them there. <clears throat> just e basically erase or delete the files that you know that you don't need and just simply get rid of them. So that's basically it on that. See, I got 1.8 gigabytes here, so I got a whole bunch of stuff and basically 
you can just come in here and let me see if I can find one that I can delete to show you guys an example. Uh, I can't find anything right now. But that's basically how it works so I've already deleted like over what's it called? See I got fourteen gigabytes before. I used to have just a few megabytes left of space so I couldn't download anything. So I had to download the on the disk sweeper to the my external hard drive and then open it up. That's why I was able to download it and luckily I was saved by that. So that's basically what I did and that's how I have fourteen gigabytes. I probably will delete some more later. But yeah, that's how it, that's how it works and that's the overview how to clean up your memory on your computer and hopefully you'll be able to erase some special files that you don't need no more. Now I'm gonna go over the organization part of putting your folders together and just being organized. So basically what we have here is my hard drive which I put all my film all my filming and all my videos and everything I basically shoot and edit in here I just save it in my hard drive because it has a lot of space and basically yeah so I got my my Adobe Premiere autosave saves it onto a random folder and this is a uh, preview files and this one I made it's called AE video clips and that basically stands for After Effects video clips so I just put them all in different clips see as you can tell I put my applications in here because I ran out of space on my my main hard drive so I had to make it onto my external hard drive so basically having an external hard drive really saves you a lot of time and space so if you feel like you need some more space go ahead and get yourself a external hard drive it doesn't even have to be that much of uh, memory just try to find one that's good enough for you and you sh it should work out fine and now this is just the audio render files for all the videos I've done and this is documents and stuff like that and this is some Drios contest I'm currently in and we got some downloads but I think this is empty yeah and uh... that's basically all I stuff I have I have my stock footage, stock images stock sound, movies, photos, render files, fonts and VFX says I can show you that and so I just got all these random clips that I'm trying out I just put them in there and when I'm done and I don't think I need them I'll just delete the folder and get rid of it or I might just go into the actual folder and just select the certain ones I don't need and then just trash them. But since I need those, I won't do that. And I got video copilot folder where I have his all his type of presets that he made for After Effects. And now these are just random videos, clips I put in there. And I got wallpapers and I got some backups right there. So basically, yeah, that's it. Just try to keep organized like that. Make different folders, and maybe if you want to make like different movies, put them in the movies f section or whatever name you want to name it. But put it all in one section, and then put it into another folder in that same folder, and basically divide it up, because that'll save you a lot of time and it'll help you out more. Like let's show, let me show you an example in VFX. Like, like let's say I want to make a new folder, and <clears throat> So, once we have our VFX test, this would be like one project, put it in there, and then make a new one, and then drop another one. Let's, you might have more clips into that same one, but I'm just using these because I don't have that many clips of these. And make another one. So, that's basically what I gotta do. Just drop them in to keep them organized, and then if you want, click view, clean up by name, and it puts them in alphabetical order. Or you could go up to here, go clean up by kind, and it'll basically go by whatever type it is, and the date modify whichever one you did last, and that's the one I did last because I put it in the folder last. And yeah, you got many options there, so I like to use it by name because I like to follow it, and usually my video clips are by name, so it goes in order. So yeah, that's basically how it is worked out, and yeah. So. I would advise you to put them in folders, but if you don't want to, you don't have to, but that's why I made this video to help you guys out, so if you don't follow that, you basically, there's no point in watching this video besides the for the OmniDS drive. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a tip on that, because I was having trouble on that myself, so I just wanted to help you guys out, too, and on the space issue, too, so yeah, there you go. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.